Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 1st. I'm Danielle Wiggins with your 3 News Now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC YouTube page. We start with Peyton for a check of today's forecast. And it's a cold one, Danielle. It is definitely an abrupt change to what we started yesterday with. Yesterday at this time we were in the 40s and the 50s. We are about 30 degrees colder almost all across Northeast Ohio from starting the day at this time. So if you stepped out yesterday, had a light jacket on, I'd reverse it and add the layers because that means we are waking up in the 20s all across the area. It feels like the teens from Elyria to Mansfield all the way down to Dover to Ashtabula. Everyone is feeling colder because we still have a little bit of a breeze. It's not super impactful this morning, but high pressure is kind of in the driver's seat for where our wind direction goes from here. But what this also does a lot of sinking air and that'll kind of tear away the cloud cover. Drier air will be in place and as this moves right now we have a westerly wind, but as this moves eastward, we start to pump in a southerly wind, so we will become mild. It's just not going to happen through your Thursday that puts high temperatures for us in the mid 30s today. So only about 10 degrees warmer than what we're actually sitting at right now. Obviously feeling a little cooler because of the wind. Our breeze though today will start to let up and we'll also see some more sunshine filtering in here. And anytime we get sunshine in through almost all of our winter months, that's a little bit of a treat for us. It'll be around to start tomorrow. So near tomorrow on the hour forecast by a national design mark, we'll start where highs will be today. So we'll start in the mid to upper 30s. We'll be in the 40s by midday. Cloud cover though will increase and temperatures. I really want you to take away from this will be increasing almost all day long. Closer to 8 p.m. You're noticing the highest temperature reach within this mediogram here shown on your screen. 50 degrees will likely be uh, clocked right around and shy of midnight. So that means the next day, which is Saturday, will start near 50 and that means changes on the way beyond the cloud cover increasing, which is usually the precursor to something else going to happen here. We'll also see our temperatures start to plummet in your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast as we go through Saturday. That's another front that will swing on through. It happens very early in the morning on Saturday, likely before you even wake on up. It will be rain associated. Uh, have that with it, but it's not going to be like what we experienced this uh, past couple of days. It's going to be a quicker hit and we're not going to drop as far on the backside of it. Just near 40 for Sunday and I've been saying all morning long, Danielle, that 40s its where we should be this time of the year. All righty. Thank you so much, Peyton. And we start with the stabbing of a 17 year old student at Bookdale CLC in Akron Wednesday afternoon. Police say the incident started as a fight between three students when one was stabbed and two others took off. The student is expected to be OK. This is the second stabbing in a month after a similar incident at Firestone CLC on November 4th. The Akron Education Association president says teachers are afraid to go to work. Physically assaulted on average of once a day in this district. That's outrageous. This community deserves more. Every time I get a text about an incident in Akron Public Schools, uh, my heart drops. It's not a learning environment. It's an environment of fear. Akron teachers are currently in negotiations with the federal mediator and say they have been raising the safety concerns for years. They hope things don't take a more tragic turn for something to finally change. And the driver accused of hitting and killing Cleveland firefighter is in jail on a half million dollar bond. 40 year old Leander Bissell was arraigned on several charges, including murder, involuntary manslaughter and failure to stop after an accident. He hit and killed firefighter Johnny Tetrick while he was helping at the scene of an accident on I-90. During Bissell's arraignment, one of Tetrick's daughters addressed the court but did not want to be on camera. She pleaded for a higher bond. I would like to ask the court for um, a million dollar bond based on Mr. Bissell's prior records, the fact that he fled the scene, he was inebriated, and he killed my father. Prosecutors say Bissell was driving drunk when he hit and killed Tetrick. He has pleaded not guilty and is set to be back in court next week. A man wanted in connection to the death of a Cleveland woman is now in police custody. Anthony Kennedy, the boyfriend of Adriana Taylor, turned himself in to police in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania yesterday. Taylor's body was found buried in a backyard last week. Police say the 23 year old was shot in the head. Her family reported her missing after not hearing from her for several weeks.
And the man responsible for shooting and killing Nakia Crawford has been sentenced to life in prison. Darius Black was found guilty earlier this month and will spend at least 18 years behind bars before being considered for parole. Crawford was shot and killed when driving her grandmother home from a bank back in June of 2020. Black was on the run for 20 months and was found in Atlanta following a manhunt. OK, now we switch gears here because we have an update on the ongoing drama over at the A Christmas Story house. We're hearing from those involved with the house after last week's TMZ video. Get the f out. Leave now. Get away from my property. Don't ever come here again. Never, ever again. Leave now. I'm serious. So that's the house's owner, Brian Jones, confronting actor Yano Anaya as he was apparently taking pictures with fans on the property. In the days after the house was put on the market, Anaya told 3 News that he and other members from the original cast were interested in possibly buying the property. In the video, Jones can be heard yelling and telling Anaya he will never sell it to him. Jones has since apologized. And the house's Facebook page did post a statement yesterday, saying in part, what we all need to understand is everyone is human. Brian is human. The tour guides are human. And everyone else works behind the scenes to make the house an enjoyable experience year round for everyone to enjoy. So please, let's make this a Christmas season of joy for everyone. And today, speaking of joy, a one day fundraiser called Double Dollar Day will be taking place at the Akron Canton Regional Food Bank. All donations given to the food bank until nine tonight will be matched, meaning one dollar will provide eight meals instead of four. WKYC Studios is a sponsor of Double Dollar Day, and we will be spotlighting the event all day. If you want to help, you can text the word donate to 216-344-3300. More information can be found on our website, WKYC.com slash three cares. Well, thank you for taking time to join me for this three news now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and beyond. Make sure you continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Danielle Wiggins and I'll see you tomorrow morning on go starting at 4 30 a.m. Have a great day, everybody.